Money making opportunity at 3.30 Eastern on ESPN Saturday afternoon in college football. I'm going to give you a free play with analysis and a little bit of an under-the-radar angle in this Colorado State-Texas game that's going to make you money on Saturday. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And there's a ton of big favorites in week one. We see all these non-conference matchup power schools against weaker schools, and this is one of them. Texas looks to be one of the most talented teams in the country once again this season. Colorado State still rebuilding their third year under head coach Jay Norvell. So the question becomes not if Texas is going to win this game. We all know they're going to win this game. But are they going to win by margin, by five touchdowns or more? And I think they will. If you're going to play this, I would lay it with the Texas Longhorns, currently around minus 33. And here's a few reasons why. Uh, First of all, database simulation. I do 10,000 games through my database every week for every game on the board. All the different possible scenarios, matchups, and variables. And on average... I've got Texas winning this game by over 39 points. So there is actually line value at minus 33. It's about a touchdown short based on my simulation. So I like Texas for the line value. So then we dig deeper. Is there a reason for the Longhorns to win big? Well, on the surface, you could be concerned about a look ahead to Michigan next week. Maybe they go a little bit vanilla. And normally that would be a concern. But there's another factor that I think offsets that and is a reason why Texas will pull ahead and win this game by margin. And that's the quarterback situation. You know, Ewers returns after a fantastic season last year, but don't forget Arch Manning, one of the highest quarterback prospects coming out of high school a couple years ago, is the backup. He had a fantastic spring game, and he is waiting in the wings. And you know they want to get him some work, and this is the type of game where he'll get some work. And when he comes in, they're not going to just have him hand off to run out the clock. He's going to get some passing opportunities. So a lot like an NFL preseason game where we have a good quarterback rotation, we always look to play on those teams. Well, with big point spreads here in week one, that's something else to keep an eye on in college football. And the Texas Longhorns, with Arch Manning in that rotation with Ewers, two of the better quarterbacks in the country, And they're going to both be playing this game, which means Texas will not take their foot off the gas. And let's be honest, the Texas second string is probably still more talented than Colorado State's first string, and especially their backups when things get out of hand. So I do like Texas here, minus the 33. The line is very reasonable. I project a 39-point win, and I think we have a little bit of an under-the-radar X factor there with Arch Manning coming in and getting some work as well in the second half. So, you know, normally you could say, well, maybe look first half, they're going to go vanilla second half with Michigan on deck. By the way, the first half line is 21, a very key number. Full game is only 33. So I actually like the full game here, as I think the second half with Manning getting some reps uh, will provide them to pull away over a very mediocre Colorado State team. That's your ESPN National TV game at 3.30 Eastern on Saturday. Hey, I've got tons of strong college bet football information here on Wager Talk TV for you, other free videos, and of course my personal best bets of the games that go out to my direct clients at wagertalk.com. I know we're talking college football, but don't sleep on baseball. I entered Friday on a 16-4, and 80% baseball run over the past 20 plays, and now football is here as well. My first college football best bets this season go this weekend in week one, and we are ready to cash. In fact, if you'd like to get all my plays for less than $5 a selection, here's how you do so. Right now, we have a buy two weeks, get the third week free special. That's right. For the price of two, you get three weeks. That works out to less than $10 a day, less than $5 a play for every college football best bet. NFL starts next week, pro football as well, and baseball for the next 21 days and nights. And you can do so for less than $5 a play. No promo code needed on my page right now, stevemerrillwagertalk.com. And don't forget, I post bonus free plays, games that were just a bit outside for making the cut in football and baseball. Free additional plays every day on my page as well. That's great for those of you building your bankroll. I'm very selective, maybe two to three best bets a day. So those bonus free plays are games that were last cuts that are pretty strong as well. Once again, check out the bonus free play, but most importantly, check out my college best bets for college football this weekend, baseball best bets on a daily basis, and that buy two, get the third week free special right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X on Twitter, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X, Twitter, also on Instagram. Comment below. I read all the comments here on the videos and I reply back. What are your thoughts not only on this Colorado State-Texas game, but what other games are you looking at here in Week 1 college football? And if you have any questions, ask away. I'll be happy to answer. I do read all the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like the video, click subscribe, and hit the bell for instant alerts when these free play videos include my college football top 25 video, which is live right now here on Wager Talk TV. And stay tuned to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content Coming up next.